Sales reporting is an essential component and process for any organization, and making sales reports and dashboards is super easy, quick, and fun, even in HubSpot. We're going to do so right now. I'm in my custom report builder. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to select first a primary data source. We're going to make this deals. And then I'm going to go ahead and include my contacts and my companies. If I want other sales information, calls, sequences, if I'm using automations, anything like that, I can include that right here as well. But for now, we're just going to start with these secondary sources. Now I'm going to hit next. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the count of deals here on the y-axis. And this is going to say inside our CRM, what's the total number of deals? All right. So right there. We can see about 59,000 deals. And now I'm going to break that down. I have a property that we're going to use for deals called account segment. You can use any of your different properties, but if you just want to start taking a look at, okay, what's our mix of deals look like? I'm going to use this and quickly see, okay, this number of deals are associated with or have a uh, segment for partner. This number have independent. This number have e-commerce. Um, <clears throat> I can also go in now and say, I'm going to look at another property for our deals called create date. And we're going to say, I want to put that on a filter. So I'm going to add that to my filters. And now I'm going to shrink this view that we have. And instead, we're going to say everything that includes last year. So now this universe of deals that we're looking at, we're breaking down by our segments is just going to be our deals that were created last year. <clears throat> so now let's take this another step further and I'm going to add another property to our x-axis here and this time I'm going to take the contacts original source. So this is going to you know, be one of the reasons why it's so important to have a clean database where you're associating your contacts with your deals. We're going to take the associated contact for each of our deals and we're going to report on the original source. That is, how did this contact find us in HubSpot for the first time? Or how did they get into our HubSpot database for the first time? Did they come in through organic search? Did they come in through paid search? Did they access through email marketing and so on? So we can see the same breakdown. We're showing our account segments uh, in our different columns here. And then we have a going across the x-axis. What's that original source? An original source is a property that HubSpot has built in to their CRM, every contact that you add will have an original source property. Um, you can further uh, you know, dissect this or analyze this by looking at some properties called drill downs. We have another video that takes a look at that. Um, and again, this association is possible because you know, when we're adding deals and we're adding contacts and we're adding companies, we're making sure that those associations are maintained with one another. And that's how we can see across these different uh, you know, objects within the database. So now, if, you know, I'm interested in, let's say, where people are. If we want to look at like our states, for example, I'm going to remove this x-axis of original source and I'm going to put on here, let's see, where is state region? Oop. That's probably what I want is state region for contacts. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> So where are we doing business the most? All right, so we still have our breakdown going on. I'm going to remove that for now just to make it a little easier to view. But now by state, how do we look? And you can see this is defaulting to an alphabetical order. Let's say we want to change that order. I'm going to hit this little edit button with the pencil. I'm going to change this sort by value. Instead, I'm going to say sort by count. So, you know, I could say descending. So now I'm going to line up on the left, you know, the, the most to the fewest, um, just, you know, as a, a different way to take a look at it. Um, there's a lot of different customizations that we can apply here. If I go to my chart settings, I can change things like my color. Um, I can, you know, change this from a stacked report to, um, you know, cumulative. There's a, but there's a lot of different data components. Um, we're also really only looking at bar charts right now. You can look at the same information by virtue of a pie chart. So now we're going to have, you know, uh, uh, out of 100% where, where are these coming from? We can see a little overwhelming with the, the number of values that we have here, a number of um, different options that we have. Um, you can always make a table. Um, you know, if you're trying to look at a lot of different information, this is a really helpful view. Um, creating a pivot table um, is another option. We've got videos that kind of take you through this as well, if that's where you find yourself needing to end up. 
So a lot of different reports you can can make. We'd love to answer any questions. Please reach out.